is going on everybody you're watching another episode of Tony's vlog so if you guys already saw my first video on this tent um, it was kind of like a brief overview of my thoughts on it um, this is part two um, after I used this thing for a week in Yellowstone so I'm gonna be reviewing this again kind of what we thought about everything with this and if you guys enjoy the review I am also gonna be showing you guys how to set this up um, at the second half of this video so if you guys do enjoy the review please feel free to stay tuned for me setting it up. All right, so let's just jump into some of the specs on this tent. Um, it's 10 feet by 10 feet. Um, it has, it's eight feet in the middle with the pole. Um, it has a two foot, like it's all square at the bottom, it has two feet of room um, if you're gonna use a cot, um, but it has two feet of room. Um, there's tons of guy lines. There's very little amount of tent stakes. I think there's four for the corners. There's one for like this archway, and then there's one large one for the middle where it's eight feet tall. This one does come in one other size, which is the 12 by 12. It's their eight person tent. They used to make one that was smaller, um, but I don't think they made that one anymore for the same style. Um, anything bigger is gonna be their Alaknak tents. Um, but anyways, let's kind of jump into some of the features that this tent has now. All right, so the first feature on this tent that we're gonna go over is the little slot that you would use for like cables or anything that you're gonna run through your tent if you need to power up a fan, if you have a power bank, any things that require like a regular cord, I would use that for. If you don't use it, obviously there's a little zipper there that you can close it on. But that way you don't have to leave the bottom of your tent door open and letting all the bugs in. With that being said, we are gonna talk about the door. Um, what's really nice about this is the large um, archway that it has. Uh, it just makes there it makes it like a lot more room um, walking inside the door. And the door here does have like your regular tent material on the front, and then obviously the mesh door. Um, if you want these things to be out of the way and just have like the mesh open, um, you can just put it up against that little thing which I will do right now. So that is what that looks like. You just roll it up, you pin it around itself, and now you got the door open. And then we'll go inside here, because this tent does have some nice features inside as well. Um, it's pretty open space in here. Um, in each corner, there's gonna be little spots to put your gear. Um, they're in each corner. And then it also, it also comes with um, something that you can hang on these, all four of those corners. It's just another spot for gear, um, but this pole is in the middle, and there are more vents up top on the outside, but when you're setting it up, as soon as everything is all flat on the ground, you don't have anything up yet, you have to open up those vents. Um, there is another vent right on top of the door here. You can just velcro that up when it's down you just put it around those things as far as setup goes it did not take a lot of time um, when we were actually out doing it and i wasn't recording it it was maybe 10 to 15 minutes by myself the only thing i don't like is how many guy lines there are but it means you don't have to run the risk of going through all of the different tent poles and running it through to one side and lifting it up without it falling over um, it's really easy that way. Um, all you have to do is just, when you're taking the tent down, that you just tie these to themselves so they just are out of the way and they don't get tangled up. Um, but we'll kind of go a little bit around the outside and then I'll just kind of tell you guys uh, my experience with this tent. So I just want to address a couple things about this tent besides from going through the specs and the features on it. Um, I know one of you guys asked on the comments on my previous video, um, how does this thing hold up against the wind? Um, well, in Yellowstone, when I was there in the beginning of August, it was like 15 to 20 mile an hour winds the entire time we were there. Um, it held up really well. Um, the guy lines didn't shift or do anything or loosen up. Didn't have to adjust anything for the entire week. We obviously had the tent just set up the whole time. Uh, but it held up really well against that. Luckily, there was no rain. It was completely sunny and clear skies the entire time we were there. Um, I did put the Scotchgard tent shield on it in case it started to rain. 
Um, obviously didn't have to use that, but I wasn't worried if it did. Um, anyways, one of the things I did notice is the, the ground layer of the tent is very thin and the ground in Yellowstone was super dry and uneven. So I would definitely recommend if you guys do go with this tent and you're going to do something where you're on a site that's not nice and flat, um, either put tarps down, you know, your tarp, then your tent floor, then something inside the tent like a blanket or a moving mat or anything just to like maximize the cushion um, around the tent floor so you don't get anything poking through. Um, when we were there, there was like leftover tent stakes from previous campers that I felt like we were going to go through. So we put blankets down and that kind of made that problem go away. Same thing with our cots. We just had that stuff down so the cot legs weren't like grinding, not grinding up, but going through the bottom of the tent. And uh, yeah, but what's really nice about this one with the cots is that two foot raise, it really squares off the bottom and most of the uh, cots that we had were only 20 inches high off the ground, so there's some room there. Um, if this would have been a teepee shape straight off the bottom, we would have lost a lot of room in the tent with the cots in there. Um, if you're gonna use cots, this isn't a six person tent for cots. It's three at max, I would say, especially if you have like larger cots than the standard one. Um, me and my brother both fit ourselves in this one with all, pretty much all of our gear um, comfortably. My friends I know had the same exact tent, but they had one of the larger cots from Cabela's and then two standard ones. They were kind of packed in there. It still worked for them, but I would definitely say three is the max if you're going to use cots. If you're just using sleeping bags and a small amount of gear, it's probably a great tent. Um, it is a three season tent. So if you're going to be trying to do something in the winter, I would I would still use this if this is the only tent you have because you can always put like a Mr. Buddy heater or something like that inside it as long as you ventilate it. Um, but if you're super serious about winter camping and you want to do something for a longer period of time, definitely go with their Alaknak tents. They're a lot bigger, they're a lot more durable, um, and they provide you with like the wood stove stuff. But yeah, that was my experience with the tent. It worked absolutely great for what we used it for. Um, it was nice not having to take it down, put it up, and worry about anything blowing over. Um, it was super sturdy. But with that, we're gonna go into um, me setting this thing up. For those of you that enjoyed this review on it, uh, I tried to do a little more in-depth review than my previous video. Um, and I wanted to kind of tell you guys my experience with it out in Yellowstone. Um, if there's anything else that you guys want to know or something that I missed on it, please let me know. But um, stay, stay for the rest of this video while I set it up, kind of show you guys how to set it up. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and if you guys are leaving and you don't want to see me set it up, make sure you like and subscribe for more of these reviews. So uh, let's get to me setting it up. Okay, so now that we have everything outside of the bag, what we're going to do next is we're going to lay the tent flat. We're going to get all of the guy lines pulled. We're going to put the stakes where they need to be, and then we will uh, move on to the next step. But for right now, we're going to get that going. Okay, so now that we have everything staked up and the guy line set, we are going to go around and we're going to rubber mallet all the stakes into the ground. First, we're going to go around the base of the tent. Um, then we are going to get all the guy lines set. So uh, I'll show you guys what to do for each step. And then I'm going to just kind of time lapse the rest of them, move on to the next step for you guys to set up this tent. Okay, so every time I've used this tent so far, what I've been doing is I take one of the corners, and I'm staking it in the ground, making sure that we do it at that 45 and get that in the ground. And then, next step is to put this stake in the corner of it. Because the tent raises up about two feet. So then you get that set, and then we'll go right into that first guy line on one of the corners. So we'll just pull this tight. So right now, the first corner is, it's a little droopy, but we're gonna move around and get the other ones tightened up. Okay, so now that we have all the corners set up, this is kind of like what each one should look like. 
you get that one stake in the ground you get the little two foot stake um, for like that base section and then you just have the guy line set up and what's nice about these ones is there goes your tension and then you can easily now with one hand easily just run you can just pull pull that line through and it will tighten itself back up all right so now that we have the corners done the next step is going to be finishing up the base we're going to get the pole in the middle set up and then we're going to start doing the guy lines on the outside i'll show you guys how to do one side of the tent because there's the three same sides and then we'll get the little vestibule set up and then we will be done with setting this thing up okay so now we're going to get this eight foot pole set up and in the middle of the tent. It does have a reinforced like peak, same as the bottom and the floor, just so you don't go right through it. Well, we're gonna get that set up right now. I might have to loosen up the sides just to get this thing in because there's gonna be a lot of tension. Okay, so now that we have the pole in there, uh, I'm just going to finish tightening up some of the corners again. I had to loosen them up to get that in there. And then we will do the guy lines on one side. I'll show you how to do those. And then we'll go to the vestibule. And then we should be done setting this up. Okay, so similar to the corners, all we're going to do is kind of unravel this guy line. And then... We're gonna just pull it tight. Hammer it in the ground. Tighten it up a little bit. And then finally, we'll do the same thing on this last one. All right, so as you guys can see, I got the corner done. I got the one on the right of the window and it kind of comes down from the top and then one there so you can see that it's clearly tightened down it's really windy in my backyard as you can see too but i'm gonna finish up doing the other sides and then um, i'll just show you guys how to put that little vestibule in all right so what i've been doing is with this vestibule so i just set this up first get all these attached like so, and then they go into these two little slots right there. And then they actually just clip into those right around the pole. Okay, so now that we are done setting this thing up, um, we told you the specs on it, we told you the features, you guys heard my review on this thing. Um, if you guys enjoy videos like this, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. And if you do enjoy that stuff and you wanna see some pictures from our trip out to Yellowstone, make sure you go follow my photography account on Instagram, I'll link that below. Um, but I really appreciate you guys staying for this video, watching this video, and make sure you guys like it, and I will see you guys in the next review. Thank <laughs> you.